Hello, friends. Uh, crazy fucking times, right? Gym is closed. I have been asked to make a bit of content so you can keep on working at home, which I did. So a uh, short workout. What I'm doing is a shoulder workout with you today. Three exercises for the shoulders. Three really nice ones, ones I like to do myself, um, which you're going to do for three rounds. Three exercises, three rounds, uh, short and snappy. Take uh, rest up to a minute, half a minute in between. If you want to do the circuit style, make your rest a bit longer if you're just doing it for strength gains. Either way, go and uh, mind your quality, quality over quantity, full range of motion, also when no one's watching, proper training, um, do the best you can. All you're going to need for this is a wall, which I'm guessing you will have in your house, and possibly something to elevate your feet up on. So that's all there is to it. Oh yeah, one more thing. So three exercises. Each exercise I'm gonna show you a harder and an easier progression. So you can pick whichever one suits you today. Some of them might be quite hard for you. Go for the easier progression. Don't get discouraged and um, good luck with it. So what you're gonna see is now me working out in the garage downstairs. Uh, While well, my cat's coming into this, because so my cat, hello. Me working out in the garage downstairs without a shirt, of course, to look extra cool. And then me on the computer talking over it and giving you some cues. I'm trying to keep it as short, as snappy as possible. This intro is longer than the whole thing. Um, yeah, get practicing, get after it. Uh, if you like this, might do some more. Good luck, guys. All right, as promised, shoulder circuit for at home three different exercises a harder and an easier variation for each exercise skill down appropriately uh, these are good some of my favorite ones uh, make sure you do a little warm-up before you start warm up your wrist warm up your shoulders i'm not going to get into that over on this thing because we want to keep it short and snappy look something up on youtube uh, do your warm-up and then join me again on this First exercise is the pseudo planche push up. You're going to really lean forward from a regular push up position and perform push ups over there. This will make it a lot harder to do. To show it a bit more clearly, I got a second angle on this. So now from straight above, this is a regular push up, hand shoulder position. And then I'm going to lean forward and do push ups over there. So make it a lot harder. If this one is too hard for you, we're going to do planche leans. So you start in a normal position. Lean forward and hold it there. Elbows locked out, shoulders protracted. Eight to 10 seconds. Keep breathing, keep your core engaged. All right, exercise number one, two options. Exercise number two, handstand shoulder taps. Chest to wall handstand. This place is too short for me, as you can see my feet touching the ceiling, but well enough for this demonstration. Tapping my shoulders, that's all there is to it. If this is too hard for you, just scale it down to a regular chest to wall handstand hold. Those are the two options for the second exercise. Pike push ups, number three. As you see, my face goes in front of my hands, my elbows go back, maximum out about 45 degrees. Keep them nice and tucked in. This is actually the easier option. We're gonna do six reps here. If this is too easy for you, you can elevate your feet, which means find something to put them on, walk your hands a bit in. And then do the same thing here. Face in front of your hands, elbows go back, six reps. We're gonna do this one like the other ones for three rounds. So three exercises, three rounds. Take as much rest in between as you need. Get practicing, let me know how you like them.